This operation demonstrates the closure of an eardrum perforation by going through the ear canal to use an inlay technique to create the closure. As we look down through the speculum, we can see there's a perforation in the drum. And what we're doing now is freshening the edges. In other words, peeling off some of the squamous epithelium so that the uh, opening of the perforation will have fresh edges for healing. The graft will come from the tragus, which is the little tab in front of the ear. And this will not be cosmetically objectionable. In fact, one can't even determine that there's been a graft harvested. The cartilage is removed and the area is sewn together, but the still the dome, the bump in front of the ear has been maintained. The cartilage has been made to be two millimeters larger on all sides than the perforation. And then a very small blade called a Beaver 6700, which is an eye blade, is used to section all the way around and score the edges so that it looks like the wings of a butterfly. This graft will engage in the tympanic membrane as opposed to other procedures which use an underlay technique or an onlay technique. This is an inlay technique. The graft is inserted, it's advanced, the edges engage in the edges of the perforation it will lock into position. We're manipulating it around the perimeter and you'll be able to see that it now has completely engaged and locked and will grow into become part of the drum. We're now putting on a coating of skin on the lateral surface of the cartilage graft. This is done in larger perforations. Here are a couple of post-operative examples. In the first patient, the one we just operated on, the hole in the center of the drum is now sealed, and you can see that as a circle in the center of the eardrum, which is a little bit shiny. In the second case, you can also see there is no hole. There are white plaques around, and the cartilage has engaged in the drum, and the drum is now completely sealed. It's also watertight.